What, what's supposed to be my bed right now? This is a couch. Yeah, I guess. Come on, magic. Gee whiz. I'm gonna have to start all over again. Wait, wait, wait. Don't start yet. Eli's getting bow. What? Eli's getting bow. Magic, you read the first one. The Fine. first lines. Is this some kind of like. It's the B movie. Read it. I know, but are you trying to do some kind of shout out or something? I'm putting this on YouTube. Is this already up? No, I'm. This is recording. <clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. <laughs> yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Umming. Wait, it's supposed Wait a to second. say coming. Hello, Barry, Adam. Can you believe... Oh, yeah, yeah, you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up later. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We are very proud of you, son. A perfect record, pr- report card. All bees? Very proud. Ma, I got the thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Oh, oh, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000 by... Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? Little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. (laughs) You did come back. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Already growing a mustache? Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows you stink so when you die. No wasted on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I thought he... I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement part into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, what a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Soon, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, new hive out, out, uh, whatever. Graduation class of 915. <laughs> that concludes our ceremony. Begin your career at Honex on whatever that says industries on next yeah will will we pick our job today i hear it's just orientation heads up here we go keep your hands and antennas inside the trim at all times i'm only reading three more paragraphs okay isaac these aren't paragraphs these are lines whatever three more lines i guess Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco in a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. I thought she would want to go longer. You want me to go longer? Because my throat hurts. Fine. Only about 20 more lines. Okay. I will be counting. Okay, Isaac? We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Okay. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, set adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. Okay. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These I bees. You me to read more lines. Oh, okay. <laughs> these bees, where is it? Where is it? Where these is it? bees are stressed. All right, these bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement in Krellman. What does that do? Our. Ouches, ouches, the little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it saves us millions. <laughs> Own anyone work on the Chromen? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small jo- job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. <laughs> 
The same job for the rest of life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? Well, sure try. Well, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have one to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. <laughs> We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you th know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the high flying, who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that, right? Look, that's m more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Oh, bulls of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jack. Yeah, once Bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Crap. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What the... What, what were you doing doing during that? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gutsy out there, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gutsy. We're in a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jumped a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up to, for it. Maybe I am. You are not. Was that 20 lines yet? I don't know. All right. You said you was keeping count. We're going zero nine hundred at J Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? Might be. Well, depends on what O nine hundred means. It's nine o'clock. Hey, Honex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day, son? Let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around. You stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You're thinking of what, making balloon animals? That's a bad job for for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure if he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're so funny sometimes. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. <laughs> I could say anything right now. I'm not getting into it. Getting, gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my throat, thorax, shave my antenna, shock, shack, sh shack, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold to, to the everyone and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. <laughs> We're starting work today. Today's the day. Um, on the job, all the jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bees, pouring stir, front desk, care removal. Is that still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them cheers. Congratulations. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Pig and crud out. Stellar. Wow. A couple of new bees. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? Now nah, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry. Krellman, the Krellman just closed out. Wax Monkey's always open. Krellman opened up, up again. 
What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another one dead. Another dead one. Deady, deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stumpy, poor, stir, humming. Inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe sur- supervisor, M- Mike Wrangler, Barry. What do you think I should do? Barry? Barry! All right. We've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to. Before I go to work for the rest of my life, you're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets that gets the roses today. Hey, guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw, saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lau. We're gonna Dude, take him up. Bro. Whatever. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign. Sign here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a raise advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. Neither can anyone else. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And rum... Minder for you rookies. B law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, whatever. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, we get buzz, it. Buzz, <laughs> we get buzz, it, bro. Buzz. Black and yellow. Hello? You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scare my shards, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bringing it around. Stands to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over here, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's palm power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way off position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I think these are... I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's gonna sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. <coughs> Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday. Mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see, folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This. Drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills. You want my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that. Pew, 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 pew. Kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. 
When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait. Stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait. Don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to him. To them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt date. Sure, Ken, you know, whatever. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B-law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. Wait, let me check. Good. The microphone is still on. How should I start it? You like jazz? No. Wait. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm no, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Wait. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What, the talking thing? Same way you did, I guess, mama, dada. Honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we had to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. He says, And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really, my only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, that's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. No way I know the area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You alright, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you... Dot, 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 question mark. Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, dot, 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 I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again, dot, 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 for before. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but dot, 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 anyway, dot, dot, dot. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. 
Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they drive and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, poodle? You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, well, Wait, well, I met someone. You did? Was she bee-ish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's dot, 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 human. No, no. That's a bee law. You want to break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying her outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. One ate the stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They called it a crumb. It was so stinging stripey. And that's not what they eat. That just falls off what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. We have to, you have to get to you. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I got to start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You're barely, you, you have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa. We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every flower stream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering, a tournament. Do the roses complete in athletic events? No, all right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have HiVo, but it's a hor uh, It's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, cry in anger, let her and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I've lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. When the name of Mighty Hercules is this. <clears throat> How did this get here? Out to be Golden Blossom? Ray Liotta Private Select? Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? We for people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. We need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have, and it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Oh, well, I guess I'll go home now. 
and just leave this nice honey out and with no one around. You're a busted box, boy. I knew I heard something so you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want is to do is to upset bees. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana, Ignacia. For my iguana, Ignacio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces. They never knew what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keeping still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I am on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on us. Your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Castle. Wait. Cow Castle. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. Wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on our own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us, they just smack. See mosquito, smack smack. At least you're out in the world, you must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up with the moth dragonfly. Mosquito girls don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? Okay, wait. We throw in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker. 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. A couple breaths of this knocks them right up. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. Oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. And they make out. Make out? Barry? You do, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to take our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No, up the nose, that's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. Only one place where it matters. Hive at five, the hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger. Sports with Buzz Larvey and Jeanette Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble and I'm Jeanette Chung. A Tri-County Bee 
Larry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B. Bear, on B. Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're t- talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus, B. Gandhi, B. Jesus? Where I'm from, we never see humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be in the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Bear week next week. They're scary, hairy, and here live. And here alive. <clears throat> Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half, a vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. <coughs> My gosh. So why are you helping me? Bees have good quality, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those are just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? And why sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? <clears throat> I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. <sighs> What's the matter? I don't know. I just got to chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, case number 4,475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the Honey Street Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively, a privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would, what would it mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking B. What do we know? How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, quism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. 
Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he dressed like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Hunron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fuzzy Bear, Build a Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How'd you like this head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? <sighs> I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human. For nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner. That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota. First belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. But is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order on this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it. Mr. Leota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope this that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bull is gnarly. 
Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? I don't know, you know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time, what are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and there are one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. Ow, my eye hurts. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of a barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B. Benson to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry, the only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. B. Mr. B. Benson, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? <laughs> yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Pull me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order. Order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been failed by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like the equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race. Took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah, I I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all the adrenaline and then, and then ecstasy. Alright, you think it was all a trap? Of course, I'm sorry I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us, we're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my, could you get a nurse to close that window? Why, the smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to do. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamen. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. What is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly. <laughs> And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about your honor having these ridiculous bugs taking up enough of this in court's valuable time. How much longer will be 
will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What, this? This harmless little contraption? This gonna hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us to be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and non and man made wooden slat work camps? Looking living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man, what are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the bees, free the bees, free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we can't have all... Now we won't have to work all so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? Alright, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren. I have no pants. What? What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? We will demand... We will demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bears, anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath sting machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nausea for a few hours, then he'll be fine. And we will have no longer tolerate bee negative nicknames. But it's just a prince about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products. And, and la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Have it right there. Good. Top it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shutting can we're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar tail. Returning to base. Adam, you wanna believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they not celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do, laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket and a croissant. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who won it? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? This is not... That is not half of it. The half of it. Oh no, oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I don't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? 
How do we do it? I'll sting you. You step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? Dude! Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. 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 Vanessa. Roses. Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. Well, I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in the park. In this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers. Great pollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, but floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Where? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm the only marshal. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security. You and your insect pack your float? Yes. Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's a part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe just how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I help them? Can I help with the Sky Mall magazine? I like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say, Hal? Nothing. B, don't freak out my entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom and 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There is a dustbuster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious and so is the co-pilot. And not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. 
Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? How hard could it be? Wait. Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're heading to some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from JFK Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an, incor and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers, we have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account upon compadres. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. Wait. More than we realize. To us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover, hover. Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. Why is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? This pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello? All right, let's drop this tin can on the black drop on the black top. Where I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me like a twenty-seven million year old instinct, bringing the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, cut the engines. We're re we're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready for reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Noise, nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachu or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Oh, come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no, high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. 
That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah, I'm a pollen jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom... The bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer, too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a good great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B? Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a life decision during a production number. All right, take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys.